Hello everybody, my name is Blue and today we are going to look at some images about the Planet Zoo Tropical Pack. And these images have been posted on Twitter the last couple of days. And uh, let's have, let's just have a look at the first image. So this is a this is the lag gibbon actually. Um it's nothing new. We've seen the lag gibbon quite thoroughly in the trailer. But I suppose it's another nice picture to see it sitting uh looking at something up there. The third, third texture is really good though, with the lighting you can really see how third texture has been done and, and you can really tell how um, Frontier has really improved when it comes to third texture. But let's just hop right to the next image. But actually, I think we've seen this one. I think I've already looked at this image before. So nothing much to see here that I haven't already discussed. And the same with this one actually as well. The um, Red river hogs, I've seen this image as well already, I believe. But yeah, a lot of detail in those red river hogs. Okay, this is an interesting picture. I mean, nothing new yet again. Uh, just those buildings that we've seen through the trailer. But I like to uh, mention that you can see little awnings or the, like just the, the edges around the roof. The bottom, those yellow edges. Those are quite interesting and I'm sure you can do some detailing of that, which is really cool. I also hope that the little peak on top of the building, the golden peak, will be detachable and like a separate piece. You can also see a statue right in the center in the middle, uh, small but really cool. I think it's one of the Buddha statues, but we'll get a closer look at the Buddha statues in a bit. And then to the right, no, sorry, to the left, uh, there are some props, like it looks like a little ladder or something. I don't know what it is, but it looks interesting. There's definitely some new props going on. Some like human made kind of just, uh, utility props and stuff like that i'm not sure like bags it seems like and crates some new pieces at least but besides that nothing new we love love to see if some more pictures of the buildings the new uh, uh indonesian style buildings very nice here again we get a better look at actually get a better look at the brick wall the new brick wall that's recolorable and we can see that there's a pillar version and even this like uh in a version with a hole in it for windows. I'm not sure if that's one piece or if it's multiple pieces stuck together. I hope it's multiple pieces. That means that we're going to get like these very thin uh, beams. So that's quite cool. And also the pillar tops and bottoms, those are two different pieces. So that's cool to see. And then even which is quite interesting to note is that you have the star decal right in the middle of the wall, the little pillar. But in each corner there is a star decal as well and these corner pieces actually uh well they actually follow the corner so i'm not sure if that's one piece or if you're going to get like a quarter piece or if it's i don't know how how it will look like but maybe that star in the middle is actually made up of three or oh, like four separate pieces and that actually the actual piece itself is just a quarter which would be really cool because that's, that's a small piece to have and I love having small pieces, some extra detailing, so that's awesome. Also, if you have a look at the left, you have these curly things uh, on each corner of that building to the left, but also on the wall in front, and you also see that those curly things on the little pillar in front as well. So does that mean that each of, that, each of those curly pieces are like actual separate pieces and not parts of the pillar top? Um, that would be cool. So that means we get two different pillar tops because definitely the shape is different of the pillar top and bottom. But I think those early bits are also separate as well. So definitely some cool detailing uh, there. So that's awesome. And I think also when you look at the building to the left, there are these stone plates, it seems, uh, on each side, these beige looking plates. So that's definitely a new piece. It has a cool pattern on it. So yeah, definitely cool to look forward to. Now this, that's, this is awesome, a sloth, the brown-throated sloth to be more specifically, and yes, it is a walkthrough habitat, oh, a walkthrough exhibit animal, but I think that's a very elegant solution to solve the fact that sloths are arboreal animals and basically spend all their day in the trees. Yes, I know they do go on land, like on the floor, and they can walk, or they can crawl around, and they can even swim, but... If we look at the koalas, then I think we can all agree that this is a better solution. I think we'll actually get them to see them actually in trees or in climbing frames constantly. They'll never leave, basically. And maybe, because you don't know, maybe there will be some 
uh, spots where they will spawn, where they're actually on the floor, which would be quite funny, actually. And why not, right? And also, I think that despite them being a walkthrough exhibit animal, I think they will crawl around, obviously, in a set animation. But since the bats and stuff, they fly around, so why not have them crawl around, although a bit slower? But I don't mind seeing that, seeing the sloths have a little crawl about and then maybe turn around or go in a circle or whatever. But it will have a little crawl about, right? A, a set animation, which I think would be quite neat. This, despite the amazing sloth texture, nothing new to see in this image, really. Now, next, this is a, a theory that um, I had and which basically confirms with this post these are two buddha statues or like two indonesian statues with i'm not sure about i'm not obviously i, I don't I don't follow buddhism i don't know buddhism all that much but i know that the right statue is definitely like a buddha statue or like a buddhist statue but this if you haven't noticed with the previous image the original uh, buddha image that we've got in the trailer this statue has a different head also the statue on the left with it with more of a dragon head uh, i think both of those are detachable and actually the post kind of confirms it by stating that that they may be mixed and matched so i think we'll get a buddha body and a dragon slash snake body and all the heads will be separate for obviously each animal so the one that we have here i think the one on the right is supposed to be the La Gibbon head and the one on the left is supposed to be the Asian water monitor head and we've seen the uh, the red river hog head in the trailer so that only leaves the sloth and the fusa actually so we'll have to wait and see how the fusa and sloth statue will look like but definitely cool to see these two the La Gibbon and the Asian water monitor on these cool temple statues very cool and look at the texture of the temple and the texture of those statues very detailed also pretty sure that under the dragon statue and basically all around the, the uh, uh, temple are some new ferns as well so that's definitely something to look forward to some smaller ferns which is cool because we've got the big the big ferns from i don't know what they're called actually I'm, i don't, can't remember the, the name but those are the big ferns that they have in new zealand and stuff i think and in new papua new guinea those those ferns and we've got the, s the small, like, temperate ferns, but this, it's nice to have some, like, tropical ferns as well. These these are quite nice. Next, another image of the Red River Hog, and it's having a little roll, I think it's supposed to be, like, a, it's about to roll in the mud. And it's really cool, and even the texture in, like, the fur is amazing, definitely. This is this is representing more of, like, the, the fur quality of the um, armadillo in the previous pack. Because of how they're like how the scruffy kind of hair sticks all over the place and stuff it's super detailed just like the uh, the armadillo in the previous pack and also a lot of other animals of the recent packs the tufty ears the like little beard kind of thing or like the, the whiskers it has the the scruffy hair on its stomach it's very detailed even the tail is really cool so yeah definitely a perfect design i i think this is the best uh, most high quality design of the whole pack if it wasn't for the Asian water monitor which we all know that Frontier is really good at doing reptiles and this one is not an exception. Look at the sheer detail of this water monitor and although we got the what was it the um, Nile monitor in the base game we've got the Komodo dragon we've got two monitor lizards basically. Having a third one it's cool because I mean we have Plenty of crocodilians, so at least if we get a new reptile, I'm glad that we got a monitor lizard instead of yes another crocodile species, like a crocodilian species. It's probably going to be my least least favorite of the pack. It's the least exciting, but it's definitely the highest quality of the pack. But that's just because it's a reptile, and Frontier is really good at doing reptiles. Also, you can't say no to a reptile, can you? you can't say no to it. To an Asian water monitor, would, would I have rather seen something like a New World monkey, perhaps? Or would I have rather seen another tropical animal that, that isn't in the game? Yeah, maybe. But the Asian Water Monitor is definitely a good pick since it's easy to make and it's super high quality. And, you know, some more Asian reptiles. We've got the Komodo Dragon, that's an Asian reptile. Why not another one? And I think this one, if you compare it with the Nile Monitor in the game, even just by comparing those two, despite them both being reptiles, 
this one is way better when it comes to quality with this with it's like basically those folds not fats those folds of the skin the skin folds super highly detailed similar to the komodo dragon i think if you remember correctly also super high details on that one i haven't i i, I don't expect less from frontier if anything but yeah just a beautiful picture of the water monitor lizard and the last animal to have the, that, that we'll have to reveal now is the Fuser, I think. I think we've seen all the other animals. And they're keeping it a secret because I think that's a fan favourite. And I can't wait to see the Fuser because I think the Fuser will have a really good texture to it. I'm confident that the Fuser will look good. And uh, I, th I think some people have seen the Fuser like, right in the, back of the in the background of the trailer. But it's not that good of an image. So we'll have to wait to see the high quality image of the Fuser. But definitely really excited but that's about it all that's all the images that we've gotten so far and we'll just have to wait until we get some more images and i'll see you in the next video bye bye